everybody. Uh, Tom with uh, TheOutdoorCookStore.com. Uh, thanks for checking us out today. Uh, we're gonna today we're gonna do some uh, cast iron Dutch oven cooking. Uh, the, we're gonna do a uh, a uh, pot roast in a camp up Dutch oven. So what I'm gonna do? I've got uh, 28 coals going. We're gonna put uh, 10 on the bottom, 18 on the top, and uh, cook up some a nice uh, pot roast. I've got my little cooking table uh, all set up. So. Let me get these coals going, and we'll get back with you and uh, get this meal started. Okay, um, I've added some uh, oil. I've actually got a few extra coals. Instead of 18 on top, I've got uh, 14 on top. So I put an extra four underneath there to get it hotter. So I need to brown my, uh, my roast. Uh, so I've put some olive oil in there. What I've got, i got a rump roast, uh, salt and pepper on the roast, what I'm going to do is brown all sides right now, and um, once that's done, I'm going to pull that out, put it on my trivet. I like to get the I like to get the uh, meat up off the bottom, and I've got some liquid I'm going to put in there. And so anyway, we'll get that in a minute. But let me get this browned. I don't know if you can hear that going, but that's uh, 14 coals, nice and hot. About a minute aside, I'm going to brown all sides, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, i got a fairly little brown. Uh, what I'm going to do now, get my trivet. Like I said, I always like to get the meat up off the bottom. Number one, I don't want it to sit there and burn. Uh, number two, I'm putting liquid in there. I don't like my meat to boil in my the liquid or its own juices. This isn't a, uh, this is a pot roast, not a pot stew, so... Uh, I like to make sure I get it up off of there. Uh, there's plenty of moisture in there. So, anyway, next, I've got some, uh, about a cup, actually a little more than a cup, of uh, beef broth and then water. So, about a cup and a half of beef broth, about a cup of water, so about two and a half cups of liquid. I'm going to pour on the bottom. Now, this whole operation is going to take at least two hours to cook. I think it's going to be about 2.15. So I'll check in an hour. If, there's, if the liquid's gone down, I'll uh, you know, add some water. Uh, but this, though, you know, there's some good flavoring that I'm going to put in there. And this is also going to be used for gravy at the end. So uh, next, I've got a whole chopped up onion and a couple celery stalks I'm going to add in there. Just nice, good juices. That'll be good. And then seasonings. I've got pepper, a uh, teaspoon of pepper. I would normally put in salt, or many, I, I, I should say I would normally put in salt. Many recipes call for salt. I don't use it because the beef broth has a ton of salt. So I've got pepper. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of uh, uh, basil, two bay leaves, and uh, two cloves of crushed garlic. And that'll just be some good flavor. Get all of that in there. Okay. Now. Put my top on. Now, remember, I said that I had put more coals on the bottom. I put more coals on the bottom to uh, to get the bottom hot for browning. So, what I have to do pull that off. Is getting ready to uh, replace already. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten on the bottom. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, nine. Trace one of those. And 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on top. So, uh, I'm going to have to start some more up. About every 45 minutes or so, you need to replace these. And um, uh, the other thing is, there's a lot of, the, the basic um, formula here for, for Dutch oven cooking is, you take your diameter of your Dutch oven, and you multiple double that. That's the amount of coals you need. So I've got a 14-inch Dutch oven. I need 28 coals. But you don't want to put two, you want to you want to put about two thirds on top and one third on the bottom, or as near as you can get. In this case, 18 on top, 10 on the bottom, um, and that's for 350 degrees. So uh, you know, and then. If, if you want to add coals or subtract coals, you get 20, 20 degrees per coal. So that's the basic. There's a lot of different things that kind of come in into play there, but that's the basic formula. Uh, so anyway, this is going to cook for about an hour and a half. Then I'm going to put in some uh, vegetables, some potatoes, and some uh, carrots, and some uh, pearl onions that uh, we're going to want to eat. So anyway. We'll be back in a bit and uh, uh, show you how uh, show you how that looks. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it's been going for almost. Let's see. Let me think. A good full hour and a half. Uh, now what I'm going to do? I've got carrots and potatoes, and that's just getting to where it's rare, a little under rare in the middle. So I'm going to put these carrots. Potatoes all around, and I'm going to let these go another 45 minutes. And uh, they'll get done, and then I've got some pearl onions that I'm going to kind of put on top. There we go. Well, that's going to be good. You guys can't smell this. Oh, let me tell you, that smells really good. Wow. Once again, you get that up off the bottom. Whoops, lost the carrot. Get that up off the bottom on your trivet. And, uh, wow, that's it. The moisture's going to stay in there. This is going to be really good, folks. So, anyway, uh, 45 more minutes. And, uh, when those, uh, the, the vegetables become tender, we're done. We're ready to eat. Okay. We're, uh, Pretty much done. And not quite 45. Been more than 40 minutes. And the vegetables are getting real tender. Oh man, this smells good. So I'm going to pull it off. Pull the meat off. Ooh, this going to be good. Look at that. That's going to be good. So I'm going to go take this inside. Doesn't that look good? Take this inside. Yeah, let me do this. Move this over here. Use this to get my trivet out. And um, I'll go get uh, I'll get this inside, get the vegetables out, and then we'll do some uh, we'll do some uh, gravy, and then uh, show you how it all works. Okay, I'm going to do uh, some gravy now. We've got some uh, real nice uh, drippings. And remember the, uh, the stock, the, the veg or beef stock we put in, some water, uh, garlic, pepper, uh, cloves, uh, bay leaves. Man, we got some good, good flavor in there. So, now what I've done, I've taken two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch mixed with water. About uh, to a, about not quite half a cup of water, so we're right about half a cup. Now I'm going to pour a little in at a time. Just mix. Let it kind of go, and uh, we'll do that a few times till she uh, gets done. Okay. Uh, I'm done. This is good. What I'm going to do, take a little of this good gravy, 
putting it on the meat, which I may have cooked, by the way, just a 15 minutes too long or so, and on my potatoes. But that's the beauty of the Dutch oven. Even if you overcook something a little bit, well, it's still moist and tender just because so, the moisture doesn't get out. Oh, look at this. That's really freaking good. I, I, I really like that. I mean, that is really freaking good. Get it? Mmm. Folks, Dutch oven cooking. Can't beat it. Get yourself a couple of uh, couple cold ones and uh, cook up some uh, hot roast or uh, whatever in your backyard, man. Uh, this is good stuff. This is great stuff. A lot of fun cooking outdoors and... Uh, Man, is it tasty. So, anyway, let's give this a try. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, don't forget, everything tastes better when it's cooked in cast iron. So, anyway, uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching and uh, check us out again. We'll catch you later. Thanks.